Hey guys, welcome to a Cocalypse Scarlet Covenant. So this is the first time that I covered this game. Uh, bear with me, I'm actually catching up after a month. So as you can see, I'm still doing my seven day check-in. I'm on my sixth day right now. So we're starting off with a, you know, kind of a review or I'll give you guys my insights and breakdown why Ch Ch Chiraha. Chiraha is actually free to play. She's the best reviver healer um shielder in the game and if you don't get her now you will definitely regret it even if you are free to play and i will show you why she is actually the best carry that you can have especially if you want to clear harder stages um that you don't have enough dps therefore she is one of your best bets in terms of protecting your guys from clearing stages some stages um um, the criteria is you need to have your HP above 50%. Some stages you have to clear with all of your peeps intact, meaning six should be alive. So she is the girl for you. Whether you're free to play, whether you're a whale, you have to get at least one copy of her. So I've gone crazy with, with getting copies of her, but we're going to be discussing the minimum plus the maximum. The minimum applies to free to play. The maximum, of course, applies to the whales. So starting off with her active skill, her attack. This is her attack, her basic attack. Okay, at zero stars, deals magic damage 88% of attack to a single enemy row, which again, it scales off her attack stat and decreases the uh, target's armor and resistance by 10% uh, for two rounds. This is actually big. Even if it's at 10%, it scales up to... 20% of the damage is up to 106. This is not the gist of her skill or, or, or of her kit, but more or less, this is a great add-on to her kit, her overall kit. Again, try to scale her uh, attack because her attack scaling will also apply to her other skill or her special skill. Okay, so again, this one scales off her attack 88%. 10% reduction is actually very very nice as an add-on but we'll go to her special skill special skill at zero star take note grants a shield of 170 percent attack again scales of attack i've told you guys to scale off um her kit through attack you will need it for her to protect your peeps um to three allies with the lowest hp so three shields with you know three lowest HP. She when she owns tails, the shield effect is increased by 15%. The tails we will go to the other skill, which is her passive later. This is um, you have a minimum of three tails and a maximum of nine. I'll explain to that uh, to you th that later. But her special skill for free to play, it's not that bad. It's actually good as you scale up for copies. It's only 100%. Uh, eight percent plus eight percent which scales more as you move up but when you're at level three if you unlock her if you choose to unlock her at the uh, three stars level three it adds another um dynamic to her shield so if she has a shield 180 percent of her attack and she also at adds uh, Volpine protection, so block the damage taken from active attacks and absorb damage of 20% max HP. So, more or less, this is another layer protection for your lowest HP um, characters. The damage absorbed will be applied to evenly to the surviving enemies in the next attack. So, again, these are nice layers of protection for your team. And it just scales further and further as you unlock more stars for her. So no additional skills. Vulpine attack. Uh, Vulpine, what do you call this? Vulpine protection is uh, scale scaling up to 50%. Attack scales up to 218%. 50% uh, of max HP, by the way, of, of the character. Um, and this one, the shield effect increases. So... A max probably if you max her out is a 268% on the shield side. So again, it's not a bad start, but as you 
give her more copies you'll definitely appreciate her more because she really really protects your team with different levels of you know of survivability but again the zero stars it's it's actually nice to have this as well to start please get her i highly encourage you guys for her passive this is this one you can control even if you're free to play just have to make sure that your tiers you do you do level up your tiers up to level six so your tier this is where the tails come in so as you level up from tier two three so two you have three tails four you have six tails and six you have nine tails you use those tails okay to heal okay you also use these tails to revive so the more tails you have the more chances of winning <laughs> okay but again seriously guys um she does have a great kit to her this the, the this alone will help you um you know the the tearing alone is going to be nuts even if you have only have one copy of her so again this will help you carry your team one copy for free to play for those who are planning to probably go up a notch take her a bit to three star three star is actually decent you don't have to take her if you know if you're if you don't really want to spend that much three star is the best you don't have to go four star and five star although it unlocks other you know other things on her on, on the support side but again that is not your focus your focus is her kit okay so um by the way if you do have a difficulty clearing stages even you have her i would suggest let's go back to the squad that i have so let's take a look at how it looks so make sure that you also have the ank glyph because because um i would highly suggest that that you have the ank glyph to prevent you from using tails for healing because the important aspect as well of the tails is going to be affected by she's going to affect the revive if you don't have tails anymore because you use it up in healing then therefore you can't revive somebody so excuse me um more or less ank glyph is actually a best compliment to her another compliment to her which i recently um recently discovered uh i cleared one stage um i didn't have enough offense so what i did i got a healer uh, i got who did i get diana so what I did, I complimented her with another healer on my team. Therefore, I was tanky enough to survive. Um, all six survived. So this is also a nice addition or compliment to her because she doesn't have to expand all of her tails. Uh, she does have to protect all her tails up to the last time that she needs it. So preferably... Uh, if you are if you don't have enough dps then go for a defensive lineup especially for bosses but i'll go back and uh, change this back to ferencia because ferencia i have her at two stars so more or less um those are my tips so additional healing won't hurt it makes your team more tankier but if you ha want to have a balance of dps and um, healing Chiraha and the Ankh Glyph is actually the way to go. So ideally, you position her in front, as you see here, because the front she she does she is actually tanky enough to absorb hits, and uh, more or less she will have to once your round you know finishes, she is close to giving you the shield that you need and the other things. Okay, I have here because Levia I put on top because she there's a chance that you could get additional rage with her um, casting her special skill. So I put her on top. But Shira can also go um, in place of Levia because you want to apply 
the debuff for her active skill or her attack but again i do have levia so i'm gonna be putting her back here okay so let's take a look at a demo of um i do have one stage here to clear because i wasn't able to clear this previously so um let's take a look let's take a look at the team that i have it's the same team actually but let's take a look at how we're going to be finishing off this stage. So let's do a one times here. Let's break down the action for you guys. Um, just have to be careful because this one here, the tails here, are for some reason, if it's a wave stage, this tail, the tails disappear. I'm not sure why. But as you can see, it's gone already in <laughs> in wave two. So please be careful as well on how you're going to be using her. If it's going to be one wave, um, she's actually all good. But again, as you can see here, there's a shield and there's the other effect um, for for much level of protection. So again, the earlier you have her, the earlier you can have that, especially if you want to protect your front line. It's it's nuts, guys. Um, the way that shield is so tough at for me right now at level four, it's crazy. So again, um, I'm telling you guys, you could build her. You could start with zero stars. She's gonna work for your team. Um, I I'm sorry that I wasn't able to showcase her at zero stars first, but I was too excited. I got too many copies, so I went ahead. So. Again, I'm sorry, but that is one of the bosses that I haven't cleared out yet. So let's uh, check that out. Let's go back and see if I have one stage here that I need to clear. So let's uh, try to clear this. Let's try to clear more stages here. These are more advanced stages. So let's... Uh, I'm just going to skip this. Skip. Okay, so probably next I'll be showcasing my team. Um, currently bringing a semi burn team to the mix with mostly east, um, east side peeps. So let's break down again the action for this one. This is just one wave. So the difference here is if you have the tails active. Um, you can't really revive anybody. You can. Um, plus, I have Shiyu who was revived. So, you only have to revive four, basically. But, uh, usually, if is uh, Shiyu is dead, um, her revive triggers first rather than uh, Chira has revived. So, again, I, if, if you just hang on to those tails up to the last part of the battle you're gonna have a lot of defensive you know capabilities even if she is at zero or for mine we're at four star already so i hope that helps um let me your thoughts guys uh what do you think of this girl is she worth it for you is she not worth it for you i need your thoughts um i'm glad to be back i to, to be honest, I was not really, you know, uh, looking to play this game, but tried to play it once, but, and it actually changed my perspective on what happened in C and now with Global. I'm actually enjoying Global more because of the improvements from Southeast Asia, and I'm I do not regret coming back, I tell you. So, again, guys, your thoughts. Thank you for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out. Of here.